What's up guys, I'm going to be giving you a demonstration on the Watch On app for the Galaxy S4, so let's get started. Alrighty, so I have a Galaxy S4 and, and one of the apps that come with the Galaxy S4 is Watch On and it uses the IR Blaster, which is right I will show you uh, right here on the device right there and that basically is you can control your uh, TV and as you can see on my Galaxy S4 view that is what an IR blaster is on a remote right there it's a sensor that you can control any TV um, or receiver or anything else like a DVD player or whatever uh, and actually it works on this stereo too, right there in between my two beds. And uh, that's how I control that too. Alrighty. So on the front, on the front, front, on the front, uh, when you first go on to watch on, we have a bunch of uh, titles here that is on uh, when you program what is your service for your cable. Um, that is what you plug in and what is playing right now so you get that on the front page uh, available now or on f in future times today it's back to available now and then you have a video and it shows you a uh, featured recommended and all these different videos that you can watch when you swipe from the left you get uh, just for you uh, videos and uh, on TV right now that you can watch. Sorry if it goes out of focus. I'm trying my best. Favorites, feature, movies, and TV shows that you can watch. Alright. Clicking the menu, you can connect to your TV, my page, settings, just so you can configure your devices and stuff, and help. On the very right, that is how you get to your remote. And this is the remote. So, Clicking on the on button, that is the universal remote, you can click on what do you want to turn on. Either your uh, my Yamaha AV receiver, my Comcast DVR, or my Sanyo TV. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Yamaha receiver, so by clicking it. I'm not using any other remote to turn it on. And I have turned on my Yamaha receiver, and like I said, I'm not using any... Uh, remote behind the camera. Don't know why I would do that. I'm not affiliated with Samsung or anything and want to help their business, but uh, that is what is turned on right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Comcast cable box here. And you can probably see it will light up once I turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead. You, It's out of focus for you right now, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to click this button right here. And you can see how it turned on. It's not flickering for me just because of the camera. It is flickering. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Sanyo TV. Right there. Once you hear that bubble popping noise, that means I clicked it. And the TV is on. Now the TV is on right now. And I can go ahead and change the channel. So I'm going to click done. And I can change the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and click the channel down right there. And I'll click it again. And click it again. And then go back up. So, clicking the volume up and down button, I can go ahead and control that. It's muted right now just because I don't want to get copyrighted. I'm going to click up. When you click, when, when you hear the bubble popping noise, that means I'm clicking the volume up button. And you can see how that is increasing in decibels. If you have a DVR, you can also choose to record, play, 
pause, fast forward, reverse, and stop it. Click the DVR button, so I'm going to show you that. And that's the DVR. And if I click menu, menu goes up. And you can actually, um, there's different remotes you can use, like the AV receiver, uh, different ones, uh, TV, and then the DVR. Go ahead and clicking exit. Exit out of everything. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into my stereo. You can also add rooms, so let's say you want to do it on your uh, living room or your whatever. I like to go to Walmart and start changing the channels and turning the TVs off. Settings. Add a device and yeah. That is basically it guys. Uh, this is the remote and what it looks like. On the front you can get mute, source, and the dial pad thing. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching my demonstration on the Watch On app for the Samsung Galaxy S4. I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you click the like button down below. Helps me out a lot. Tell me how I did in the comments down below. And for more technology videos like this, I post them as much as I can. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks. Samsung might be thinking about making a Galaxy flip phone. Yes, I said that. A Samsung Galaxy folder is what it's rumored to be called. Because this is the